So earlier this week, I was contacted by the people at R Visual who asked if I would review their camera move transitions pack for DaVinci Resolve. And of course I said, hells yeah. Now, before we get started, here's the standard disclaimer. I was provided this transition pack at no charge to me. However, no compensation was offered or accepted. So you can rest assured this review is unbiased and I'm under no obligation to say nice things unless I believe they're true and accurate. Also, in the description below, you'll find a link to the R Visual website where you can purchase the Camera Move Transition Pack. This is not an affiliate link, and I receive no commission or kickback of any kind if you make a purchase. Hopefully that puts everything above board. Now, before we get started, I wanna make one point abundantly clear. Our visual camera move transitions are literally drag and drop simple. Unlike some other transition products on the market, our visuals do not require you to work with fusion compositions or nodes. In fact, if you like the way the transitions look out of the box, and there's no reason you shouldn't, you may never need to open the fusion tab. Just follow the simple instructions and you'll be dragging and dropping sexy transitions all day day, son. All day. Okay, enough with the housekeeping. Here are five things you need to know before you purchase the R Visual Camera Move Transitions Pack, which from this point on, because it's a mouthful, I'll refer to simply as the Camera Move Pack. Thing number one, it's very fairly priced. At the moment, the Camera Move Pack is for sale in the R Visual online store for 34 euro. At current exchange rates, the US dollar equivalent is 37.52. Now that's a very competitive price. If you shop around, and I have, you'll find that most high quality transition packs for DaVinci Resolve are priced somewhere between 30 and 50 US dollars. And the R Visual package comes in right around the middle of that range. Now I'll cover more details on exactly what you get for your money in just a minute. For now, just know the pack is fairly priced and represents good value when compared to its competition. Now, if you're watching this right now and you're thinking, I can make my own transitions for free. Well, you might be right. You can make transitions from scratch. I've done it numerous times myself and it's definitely possible. However, you've got to give some serious thought to what your time is worth. For instance, for me to create a simple zoom transition, set the keyframes, adjust the spline shapes, add motion blur, and make it drag and drop, well, that could easily take up an hour of my day. And if I need to make the transition work for multiple frame rate timelines, well, that takes even more time. So when I look at the R Visual Camera Move Pack and find not one, but a whole collection of professional drag and drop transitions in a bunch of different frame rates for less than 38 US dollars? I say sold. It's absolutely worth your money. There's no question in my mind. And you should also know your purchase gives you a lifetime license for use in both personal and professional projects. So you won't have to pay any additional fees to use these transitions in work you do for clients. In addition, the people at R Visual have confirmed that when you purchase their products, you'll receive future updates for free. So as the product improves over time and they modify the transitions to take advantage of new DaVinci Resolve features, you'll get those improvements at no additional charge. All of that is very good news. Thing number two, they come with thorough instructions. Now, the main reason I decided not to turn this power tip into a how-to tutorial is that the folks at R Visual have created a really solid set of instructional videos for you to follow. When you download and unzip the camera move pack, inside you'll find a PDF containing links to a series of video tutorials covering how to install the transitions in DaVinci Resolve, how to use them on the timeline, how to customize transition parameters, how to change their speed, as well as a detailed troubleshooting tutorial in case you run into any difficulties. All in all, it's a very helpful and thorough collection of videos to get you up and running in no time flat. Bravo to the folks at R Visual. Thing number three, a variety of transitions. One of the most impressive things about the camera move pack is the number of transition styles they've included for the price. 
Right now, when you purchase the pack, you get 35 transitions. They include spins, zooms, warps, slides, twirls, and pops, plus combinations of those effects in left, right, up, and down variations. And each of those 35 transitions is available in a variety of frame rates. The bottom line is, if you can't find at least a couple of transitions you like in this pack, you may need professional help. Moving on. Thing number four, transitions are customizable. As I mentioned earlier, each camera move transition is ready to use out of the box without ever having to touch Fusion. However, if you're someone who likes to tweak settings, the good folks at R Visual have made it possible to customize many of the transition parameters. A quick visit to the Fusion tab exposes sliders and input boxes for spin and zoom pivot points, motion blur, prism position, and more. The parameters you have access to are a little different for each transition. And again, you never have to touch these controls, but it's good to know they exist in case you need to make a change. And again, our visual has a detailed tutorial video on how to customize these transitions. Thing number five, a couple of limitations. Let's face it, nothing in life is perfect, and that includes video transitions. Now, the two things I'll mention here aren't so much limitations of the R Visual product as they are limitations of DaVinci Resolve itself. First of all, the transitions are resource intensive. Now, this shouldn't be too surprising. Anytime you create a high quality transition with motion blur and lens distortion and prism blur combined with spin and zoom transformations, well, that can bog down even the fastest CPU and GPU. So depending on the system you're using, you may run into situations where you're unable to get real-time playback of the transitions. The good news is you can get around this by turning on your render cache and giving the clip a few seconds to render. Again, you'll find detailed instructions on exactly how to do this in the video tutorials that come with the transition pack. The second limitation has to do with frame rates. For the transitions to work, you have to use the version that exactly matches the frame rate of your timeline. For instance, if you drag a 24 FPS transition onto a 23.976 FPS timeline, it just won't work. The camera move transitions are available in a series of different frame rates, and the R Visual team is in the process of adding more, so they'll cover all common frame rates between 23.976 and 60 FPS. Just be aware, if a transition doesn't look like it's working, it's very likely because you dragged the wrong version onto your timeline, and that's an easy fix. And here's one bonus thing. Bonus thing number six, a discount for the first 30 subscribers. That's right. If you're one of the first 30 subscribers to purchase the Camera Move Transition Pack, you'll get a 15% discount when you use coupon code DAVIDPOWER at checkout. You'll find the link in the video description and get over there as soon as you can because the coupon will only work for the first 30 subscribers. But even if you miss the discount, this transition pack gets two thumbs up from this guy. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. And if you're digging these power tips, you know what to do. Once again, I'm David Power and I'll see you in the next power tip.